Welcome everyone to my top 5 favourite premium aircraft in War Thunder. So today this list is not based upon their performance, it is based on my personal preference, but either way I hope you enjoy. Starting off with something very slow, the Swordfish Mark II. It is a rank 1, battle rating 1.0 British torpedo bomber. The aircraft is armed with two 7.7 machine guns, one being mounted in the nose which is operated by the pilot and one operated by the gunner in the back. The aircraft has the ability to carry six 250 pound bombs, or equally it can carry two 500 pound bombs along with two 250 pound bombs, a single torpedo, eight RP3 rockets, or eight AP Mark I rockets. Obviously with this loadout you can attack ground targets pretty comfortably and that would be one of the pros, however one of the cons of this aircraft is that it's very slow and it's very lightly armed so it has not very much ability to defend itself and it can't really outrun anything and um, obviously that will lead to your demise more than ever so you do need to play this aircraft very carefully. Now the main reason why I love this aircraft is just because of its operational history. The aircraft served from the 1930s up until the end of World War II in 1945 and actually outlived most of the aircraft that were designed to replace it and I just think that's an absolutely insane achievement for a biplane. Now moving on to the JU-288C. This is a rank 4 battle rating 5.7 German bomber. The aircraft is armed with three dual 13mm turrets along with a single 20mm cannon in the tail. The aircraft has an excellent bomb loadout and it can carry either 36 50 kg bombs, 8 250 kg bombs, 3 500 kg bombs, or equally it can carry two of the 1000 kg bombs or two of the 1800 kg bombs. Now obviously the defensive armament and the bomb loadout are the two main selling points for this aircraft and on top of that the aircraft is very very fast and you won't be outrunning any of the aircraft at 5.7 because most of the allied aircraft that you'll be facing will be faster than you anyway, however if aircraft do catch up with you, you do have the ability to shoot them down. Now my only main downside for this aircraft is if you lose a gunner, you do lose the operation of most of your gun turrets, which obviously is a big problem for an aircraft that can't outrun most of the fighters it's facing. But overall, I love this aircraft just because it is an excellent aircraft grinding with the uh, rewards that you can get from it. Moving on to the PBM-3 Mariner. Now this aircraft is a rank 2 battle rating 3.0 US bomber. The aircraft is armed with five 50 caliber machine guns in single mount, with one in the nose, one in the tail, two waist gunners, and an upper turret. Although I said this is a bomber, it is more of a maritime patrol aircraft, but it can carry a pretty decent bomb load with 12 100 pound bombs, eight 500 pound bombs, or equally it can carry eight 1000 pound bombs. And now this is the main selling point. Interestingly for this aircraft, it has two bomb bays, and if you have eight 1000 pound bombs, you have four in each, and they're just mounted rearward of the engines. With an ability to carry such a heavy bomb load, you do have the ability to knock out multiple bases in Air RB games, and equally in a tank game, provided you can obviously get there without being shot down, you do have the ability to destroy multiple tanks with very powerful ordnance. Now one of the main cons of this aircraft is its defensive armament is very lacking, especially for 3.0 to 4.0, it doesn't have a great ability to defend itself. Now the reason I love the PBM is just because of its bomb load, and as well it's a maritime patrol aircraft, and I love maritime patrol aircraft, I just think they're very very cool. Moving on to another US aircraft, we're looking at the F-86 F-35. Now this is a rank 5 battle rating 8.7 US fighter. The aircraft is armed with 6 M3 50 caliber machine guns, all mounted around the nose with 3 on each side. The aircraft has a good ground attack capability with the ability to carry 16 HVAR rockets or two 1000 pound bombs. Dependent on altitude, the aircraft can fly quite comfortably at Mach 0.90, however the aircraft can reach Mach 1 in a shallow dive. Although the aircraft is very maneuverable, it doesn't really have the ability to pull G. The maximum amount of G that you'll be able to pull is about 9G before your wings start to rip. And on top of that, the M350 cals, although you have a lot of ammunition, you will need to land a lot of hits to be able to down an aircraft when most other aircraft you'll be facing using cannons will kill you very, very quickly. And now that is the main downside. Now the reason I love this aircraft is because it's excellent for grinding. With only a 10,000 repair cost, it is very, very cheap compared to other Sabres. And if you just bomb bases and then go and dogfight aircraft, you can actually grind your way through the tech tree very, very quickly. Finally, we're looking at the AU-1. The AU-1 is a rank 4, battle rating 5.7 US attack aircraft. The aircraft is armed with four 20mm cannons and probably the widest array of ground attack ordnance that you could list in the entirety of this game. With the amount of bombs this thing can carry, it does incredibly well in tank RB games with the ability to drop 500 pound bombs, 250 pound bombs, 1600 pound bombs, 1000 pound bombs, 2000 pound bombs, HVARs, Tiny Tims. This aircraft is just insane for tank RB games. Being a Corsair, it has a very good top speed and a very, very good roll rate, so you can maneuver with aircraft for a decent amount of time. However, the only downside is this aircraft will dump speed in a turn and it will struggle to pull out of steep dives, so you do have to be very careful. But the reason why I love this aircraft is because it's a Corsair and they are my favourite aircraft. 
Now, as I've said before, guys, this is not based upon their performance. This is based upon my personal preference. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite aircraft are in War Thunder, and I will see you in the next one.